welcome back to the channel this right here is the real estate market trends and on this show we talk about some highlights and trends in the real estate scene in ghana this is episode two if you haven't seen the first one we posted it's on the page do well to go watch it and today as usual i'm seated here with the head of department for marketing and sales at royal kingdom estate mr yamoa hi Hi Ajo, how are you? I'm good, and yourself? I'm fine. Okay, so today, can you please share with us some factors for expats or diasporas to consider when choosing neighborhoods for settlements in Ghana? All right, interesting topic. And especially when we have a lot of the foreigners or diasporans yes. or expats mm -hmm. coming into the country, trooping into the country. Um, I'll speak about five okay. major factors mm -hmm. that can be considered. The first thing we'll look at is security. Oh. You are coming into a territory that most likely you are not you are not familiar with, yes. right? So you would need to be in a security zone area. And when I say security zone, what I'm trying to say is that find yourself in let's say a gated community. Okay. For instance, where I can we are not building just gated communities, we are building cities. Cities. Right. True. So you need to find yourself in a place where there's going to be provision of security yeah. services yeah. is very important so you can feel it, safe exactly right you don't want to be um ostracized or being a, in a pl isolated yes. let me put it that way yeah so that's the first thing you can okay. you can consider that is security second thing we can look at is proximity okay um you have to consider your place of daily commute mm -hmm. so wherever you'll be commuting on it to on a daily basis yeah you would have to find a place where proximity will be convenient for you okay. so that is the second thing that you can consider the third thing we may look at is investment now mm -hmm. it depends what you are coming to do in the country right now if you are coming in to uh settle at a place Le because we are talking on a real estate channel yeah. let's look at for the purposes of real estate as yes. a case study okay if you want to look at something like agric mm -hmm. you want to use your land for agric you know land has um different purposes yes. so there's diversification mm -hmm. when it comes to the benefits if you are talking about agric you wouldn't want to probably rear animals or livestock or do some kind Not of cash in, this in the urban areas. <laughs> you no. want to look at maybe some yeah. outskirts. Yeah. And agri, for instance, is still one of the major contributors of our economy, That's right? True. So the FDI or the foreign direct investment, mm -hmm. if you check from about 2008 to 2015, we had about $1.3 billion coming in to the agri Just sector like alone. Culture. Yes. There was a decline at some point, okay. but agri is still one of our major contributors when it comes to the growth of the economy mm -hmm. and then employment. Okay. So agri is one of the reasons why you would want to consider your settlement if you're looking at investments, okay. right? And also even for um, the infrastructure itself, mm -hmm. if you want to build, yeah. right, for um, people to, you want to provide accommodation, let okay. me put it that way. You know, for experts, there was a stat that or statistic that in about 2021 mm -hmm. the occupancy rate for five star hotels was hovering around 65 percent wow it tells you that yes and usually when um, companies even mm -hmm. bring experts into the country yes. a lot of the times they are staying in these hotels yes. they rent the entire exactly so look at the opportunity available right if you want to come in for such purposes mm -hmm. for such investment purposes you could look at certain areas and just develop them mm -hmm. right and get these people to come instead of yeah. really coming to live in the hotels do something that will look like it give it to them they also it. the rent rate or the rate as people are renting properties is very high, high in the country and for that regardless wherever you build mm -hmm. people would rent so yes. whether urban or outside so, of the i, I mean, would say rural but how it is now exactly people are living on the and further side you realize that now you don't even finish building before people yes um, they come in to rent it uh, yes they rent right so investment is another thing you may okay. want to consider another thing you would want to look at is your financial capacity mm -hmm. now if you are coming into the country you are looking at settling down in the country yeah you check your your financial capacity <laughs> and see where you fit in best exactly yes you don't want to um <laughs> You know, young people come, especially during the, the Christmas yes. season, yes. and they That's realize... That's December vibes. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, some come in and they start 
asking questions how we miraculously survive <laughs> in the country yeah they feel like wow you guys are really trying so you have to consider your financial capacity yeah. would you want to settle or can you afford something something in the urban area mm -hmm. or can you afford something in a fast developing area yeah. which may not be an urban area okay. a typical urban area mm -hmm. so you need to check that because they are average prices out there on mm -hmm. the market yeah. for instance if you're looking at a three-bedroom house in a prime location mm -hmm. or in the urban area mm -hmm. in prime Accra yeah you're not looking at something less than let's say two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars yes you get it per month no I mean if you want to let's say purchase yeah or oh. right you're not looking at less than two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars you get it yeah but then if you want to build mm -hmm. um, well that's more or less would be cost effective mm -hmm. but you also look at the price of the land okay so i have a question there but we'll probably take it in the next episode okay all right <laughs> that's fine so that is why i would always encourage people that once you have the chance to purchase the mm -hmm. land purchase now when you purchase you are building at your own financial piece yeah because you 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 build as and when you yes. have the financial that's why we have a lot capacity. of um progressive exactly buildings at exactly. RKE so, for some of our clients right yeah. so rke we can build for you you give us your your timelines mm -hmm. when you provide the the, the funds we go to a certain level yeah. we'll keep you updated mm -hmm. so always check your financial capacity okay. if you are fit enough to afford something in the urban mm -hmm. area or a fast developing area which may not necessarily yeah. be the prime urban area but it's a fast developing area which I mean there's so much potential mm -hmm. there so people yeah. shouldn't overlook that opportunity okay. as well okay. and then you also want to consider the the age bracket okay right um if you are going into retirement mm -hmm. you you probably want somewhere quite or more serene yeah to you know just have, have your peace, peace of, of mind, mind. Yeah. just come back home and relax mm -hmm. so for someone like this you are not in a haste to go for something in the urban yeah. area right yeah you are looking for a more serene environment so a place like gray city will work best for you yes with you the know. scenery exactly and everything. even the view mm -hmm. black star village now yeah. these sites that i mentioned are sites for our kingdom estate and trust me if you are looking at relocating these are your go-to location yeah. because if you want to settle at, at a place where you have so much mm -hmm. um, peace of mind yeah. trunk Mm -hmm. view the weather the, the breeze, full package the greenery yeah everything you need in one package so mm -hmm. yes the age bracket is important for the for the the gen z's <laughs> the young gens. yes so with the you know yeah with the mula yes <laughs> so those 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 ones they don't want to be close to the Usu yes the fast-paced areas yes, they want to be close to their places where you know you have the boom 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 uh -huh. <laughs> so you, you know your people yeah yeah so for them they might want to consider those places but then it will take you back to mm -hmm. the the financial capacity yes. if yeah. you can if you can, you can afford, afford it, it yes yeah. so we look at all these factors uh, for an expert who's mm -hmm. looking at or from someone from the diaspora yeah. who's looking at relocating mm -hmm. settling in um, neighborhoods in, yeah. in, in Ghana. Ghana these are some of the things that you could or factors that you could consider there are there are numerous factors but mm -hmm. I mean for now I think these five they will do okay. yes right yes. it's it's been amazing I like most of the points that you've put up they are very very important and it's necessary that people really do consider these things because sometimes yeah. people just move into spaces blindly and then they get stuck and then it becomes a whole don't lot move of, in blindly you, yes. you'll be caught off guard yeah yeah, yeah. you'll be caught off guard yeah. so you need to do your research sure it's important yeah. you know it's really important that you do your research you don't want to go into or you don't want to go to a place where you are not familiar with and mm -hmm. then sometimes for the for the beauty or the excitement mm -hmm. that comes with exploring yeah or the adventure yeah but this time around it's Always. settlements we are talking yeah. about money well is informed. going to be involved yes so your security is important mm -hmm. so you need to be well informed mm -hmm. to make informed decisions right yeah. we hope this has been informative and it will help you make sound decisions when it comes to your settlement we'll see you in the next episode peace out